All new at six, dozens of horses being removed from the White Mountains. The U.S. Forest Service says it's the best way to control the horse population, but some want to find other ways. Claudia Rupsich takes us to the town of Alpine, where the horse removal program is getting underway. There are about 400 feral horses living in the White Mountains in Alpine. These videos were taken by Simone and Netherlands this week. And these are beautiful, historic wild horses. But the National Forest Service says these feral horses are damaging the Apache National Forest, threatening animals that live there. And at this point, we're really losing what little vegetation is left in the area, almost and, and arguably to the point of no recovery. Dr. Robin Silver is with the Center of Biological Diversity and says those horses came here after the Wallow Fire in 2011. Damage to the land is causing the extinction of two endangered species, the Apache Trout and the New Mexico Meadow Jumping Mouse. If we want to have any healthy Upper elevation meadows and streams left in the White Mountains, we have no choice. Those horses have to be removed. The Forest Service says they'll use passive baiting and trapping to remove the horses. Netherlands is trying to prevent that. It only takes one dart in the butt for that mare not to have a foal the next year. She leads the Salt River Wild Horse Management Group. We'll facilitate the removal of some while at the same time keeping a sustainable, viable population there that's controlled through birth control. A spokesperson for the Forest Service Wednesday said fertility control isn't a feasible option, saying those darts are only approved for federally protected wild horses, which these are not. The horses will be sold in person and online. Netherlands worries many of them will be killed. If they do get bought by kill buyers, they'll be stuffed in a truck, um, driven across the border and horrifically slaughtered in Mexico. Dr. Robin Silver calls the removal a horrible situation, but he says something has to be done. Let me just make sure it's very clear. We're, we're an anti-extinction organization. We're not anti-horse. The Forest Service says people interested in buying horses can reach out to them. We've got details on ABC15.com. Claudia Rupsich, ABC15 Arizona.